Hi, welcome to this tutorial on inpainting only on masked area and outpainting in ConfUI using the inpaint, crop and stitch nodes. First, let me show you a demo of how it works. If you want to edit something in this image, you would open the mask, mask whatever you want replaced, like this spaceship, type in your prompt, let's replace it with a cloud in the sky, and let's enqueue it already. As you'll see, the inpaint crop and inpaint stitch nodes take care of all the magic so that the sampler samples only around the masked area, which is so much faster than sampling on the whole image. While it runs, note that the nodes can be downloaded from uh, ConfUI Manager if you look for inpaint dash crop and stitch or from the link to GitHub in the video description. You'll get to this page where you have the downloadable workflow. Let's go back at it. By the way, if you want to get notified when I publish more notes or videos like this, please subscribe. Anyway, there are several advantages to doing in painting using these notes. It is, again, much faster than sampling the whole image. It enables setting the right amount of context from the image for the prompt to be more accurately represented in the generated picture. It enables upscaling before sampling in order to generate more detail and then stitching back in the original image at the right size. But it also enables downscaling before sampling if the area is too large in order to avoid artifacts such as double heads or double bodies or getting out of memory. And in general, it takes care of this upscaling or downscaling to fit a target resolution so you don't have to worry about keeping track of resolution at all. It will also not modify the unmasked part of the image, not even passing it through VAE, encode and decode. And lastly, it provides blur and blending features, which are two different pieces of logic to come up with a seamless integration, a lot less likely to produce seams. Anyway, the defaults are very reasonable. You can use the nodes out of the box, and the only thing to note is if you're using Stable Diffusion 1.5, you should probably use ranged size from 512 to 768. And if you're using Stable Diffusion XL, you want to use forced size. Let me show you how to use context mask to specify additional context area. I'll duplicate this load image node. I'll only connect the mask to optional context mask. And now anything that I mark here will be taken as context. So for example, let's take a bit more of the moon. It doesn't matter if you do fill or boundary or corners, it's basically only interpreting the corners and it's going to add it to your original mask. In our case, the original mask was around this spaceship. So now it will also take a chunk of the moon. We could also increase it uh, by pixels, by a certain factor. This is the most powerful way to do it. Let's run it again, and you'll see how the sampler will now have a bit more of information to draw that new cloud only, again, in the originally masked area. You can also use these nodes to do out painting without worrying about the resolution. There's a third node called Extend Image for Out Painting which you put right before crop. Let's make a bit of space for it. The image mask and the context mask, if it is present, are connected to it and then those go to inpaint crop. In this node, you can define factors or pixels to grow the image by as much as you want. So let's grow it to the right by 20%, so 1.2. And I could leave this mask here, but I'm going to remove it and only generate the part at the right side. And I'll also change the context mask to include just a chunk of uh, like this area. Okay, let's change the prompt to a futuristic city and let's run it. You see, the picture has been extended. 
These nodes also work with uh, batch images and masks, so it works for videos with animate div. I would suggest to set forced size to make sure that all the images and masks are the same size. Anyway, that's everything that I have to show you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would like to remind you again to subscribe if you want to hear about new notes, workflows or tutorials. Thanks a lot!